Hi, my name is Steven. Welcome to WP Lifestyle. This is WooCommerce series episode number six. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when next we upload a video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your checkout page using the DP theme. You can see over here, this is the default DV theme checkout page and this is very boring and it has all this uh, sidebar right here that we don't want. So we're going to go ahead and customize this page and make it look like this one right here. So the next thing we need to do now is to log into your WordPress website and I will show you how you can customize your checkout page. You can see here that I'm inside my dashboard right here. The next thing we need to do is to get the plugin that we're going to use to customize the checkout page. And this right here is the plugin that we're going to need. It's called the DV Shop Builder for WooCommerce. Uh, if you watched the previous tutorial, you know that I purchased this uh, particular plugin and we're still working on the same website. So I'm going to be using the same plugin. I'm not going to go through step by step how to get this plugin. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. You can go ahead and purchase it, download the plugin and then upload it uh, to your plugins inside the dashboard just by going to plugins here and then you click on add new and then click on upload and then you can upload the plugin right here and install it uh, if you are still confused about how to do this you can go ahead and watch this video this is my previous uh, WooCommerce series the one that we did this one right here I showed you step by step how you can get this plugin and then you can use the same plugin so that is the same plugin that we're going to be using uh, in this video so now the first thing we need to do you can see here if you go over here to the plugins you can see that I already have this plugin installed right here and then let me go over here to uh, if you scroll down here go to uh, team builder and click on the team builder here you can see that I have the checkout here which is this checkout page that I have over here so that's the checkout page that I have here you can see so if I go back over here to the team builder you can see uh, the checkout page here so I'm going to go ahead and unlink this right now I'm going to unlink this and save this now you can see that is not linked to anything and then I'm going to save this right here now if I go back here on the checkout page and refresh it we're going to get the default checkout page so right now let's go ahead and customize uh, this checkout page uh, from scratch so I'll go here and then I'll add a new template right here and then I'm going to select the checkout page here and then I'm going to click great template and then from here I'm going to create a custom body from scratch and I'm going to build from scratch okay so we can build from scratch from here like this and then the first thing we need to add uh, if we go back over here you can see that we have uh, this section right here uh, this is a section uh, with the text module here so let's go here and do the same thing so here we're going to add one column row like this we click on this and then inside here we're going to add a text module so we select the text module okay so we can change that to checkout and then we can just customize that I'm going to go to design I can click on this pencil right here and then I'll go over here I'll leave the text on default and then I'll make this uh, bold like that and then I'll make the color uh, black for now and then I'll change the size to 40 and then I'll scroll down here you can make that all cap if you want if you go over here you can see that we have that all cap okay and then I'll come back here and I'll scroll down and then I'll change the text alignment to the middle like this okay so now the next thing we need to do is to click on this blue icon right here uh, the section and then we are going to go to the background and we are going to give this a background image I'm going to select the image I'm going to select the same image that we've been using and here you can see what the image look like right now and here we can make sure the image is on cover and is on center and is on no repeat and then the blend mode we are going to change the blend mode to overlay like this and then we're going to go to color here in the background and then we're going to add back black background and then we're going to reduce the opacity like this if you go back over here you can see that we have a, a lot more space here so we can go ahead and add uh, spacing in there so we can go back here and go inside the design and click on spacing 
and here if we add margin it's going to add on the top so we want to add padding so maybe we can add 150 okay so that's not looking too bad uh, i like that so we're going to leave this like this for now and then we're going to come back here and select on this checkout here and then i'm going to change the color to white okay now that we have that the next thing we need to do is to add uh, these sections right here so let's go back here and now we want to add a new row so we want to add the regular one so we're going to add uh, one column row and then we're going to scroll down here we want to add a checkout coupon this one right here right we go over here that is the next one that we have here so we want to add that the checkout coupon so there is one thing that i want to mention this checkout coupon for some reason has to be in its own uh, separate row so for example let's say if i add checkout billing right here if i add it inside the same column we are going to get this error right here that said uh, checkout module conflict so you can see here because i added this here uh, this is supposed to be in a separate row okay so i deleted that and you can see that the problem that we had here it's gone now the error that we got here it's gone so make sure that you have this in a separate row and then you can add a new row and then you can add the billing inside the row here you can see that i have a new row and then i have the billing inside and we don't get the error right here okay so if we go back here and you can see that we have this one inside here as well instead of having this one column row here i want to add that other details inside here as well so i'm going to go here and change this row to maybe this one and then over here i'm going to add the checkout shipping and then i'm going to also add checkout order okay so now that we have everything that we need we're going to go ahead and start customizing all of this so let's go back over here you can see that we have this overlapping here so what we need to do now is to go inside the first row in this one this first row right here and then we'll go to design go to spacing and then we're going to add negative 160 and then you can see here that it's transparent so we're going to go ahead and click on content and we're going to give this white background like that so now you can see that this uh there's no space here it's not looking good so we want to make sure that we have add some padding over here we'll go back to design and then we go to spacing and then here we want to add 25 padding on the top and then also at the bottom and then on this left and right we add 25 as well well now you can see that we have really nice space over here and then the next thing we need to do i want to add a little bit of box shadow to uh, this one so i'm going to scroll down to box shadow and i'm going to click on this one right here and then if we go over here you can see that we have these rounded corners on the top you don't need to add that but if you want to add that you can scroll down to borders and make sure you unlink uh, this because we only want to add that on the top you unlink this and then you can add 25 here and then you can also add 25 over here now you can see that we have that uh, rounded corner right there okay so now that we have that we're going to come back to this one right here and we're going to do uh, almost the same thing so we're going to click on this and go to design we're going to add spacing we're going to add 25 padding and then one more thing we need to do because here we have two uh, column row here i'm going to go to design and go to sizing and then i'm going to click on custom color width and i'm going to uh, reduce this space right here and so i'm going to reduce that to two you can see now that we have a little space here if i make it one you can see that it's overlapping like this and i don't like that so i'm going to leave it on two like this so i'm going to click on this and start designing this uh making this match our color make sure you use your brand color you don't really need to use the colors that i'm using i'm just going to use the default colors that we have here in the dv so use your own brand color so over here i'm going to click on design and the coupon toggle which is this one right here i'll click on that i will change the color to this so it's going to look like that and then that will be it i'll go to the content i will change the content here uh, to a little bit uh, bold like that and then i'm going to make it capital letter if you want but i'm going to leave it uh, the way it is and then you can align the text to whichever side that you want and if you scroll down here the rounded corner you can go ahead which is this uh, line right here you can change that uh, the way you want like this you can see 
so i'll leave that to the default and then i'm going to change the color of that to this one but i'm going to fade it out a little bit i'm going to reduce the opacity like this okay that's looking really good and then if we scroll down here apply coupon which is this button right here we're going to select that and click on use custom style so the test color we can change that to white i know you can not see it but we're going to change the button background to black and then i don't really like this black so i'm going to click on the color right here i move the color a little bit around to find the shade of black that i like so i think i like this color and then i'm going to click on ok so that's the color that we have right there and i'm going to click on this arrow right here to set up the hover color right here and then if i scroll down i'm going to change the hover color to this one and then I'll click back on the desktop. So when you hover over this, it's going to change to this other color. Okay, so now that we have that, if we scroll down a little bit more, we can see that we have the icon. So when we hover over here, you can see this icon right here. So I don't really like that icon, so I'm going to turn this off by clicking on no. Now if we hover over this, we, go, we don't get the icon. And then the button, you can see right now the button alignment is like right here. But I want it over here, so I'm going to click on this right here to move it over here. So it's going to look like this. Or you can go ahead and set your button just the way you want it. So if you can see here that we have the coupon code field. Right now it's on white. I like it on white, so I'm just going to leave it on white like that. And then I'll scroll down here. The test color is black. I'll leave it like that. And then the focus color is going to be when you click on it. When you are typing something, you can change that color to whatever you want. So I'm going to go to my recent colors here, then I'll choose the colors that I just used uh, recently. I'll choose this one right here. So once you click here, it's going to change to that color once you start typing inside. And then the test color when you are typing inside right now is black, so you can't really see what you are typing. So I'm going to change that to white, like that, so that once you start typing in here, it's going to be white like that. And then next, we're going to select the billing details over here. And then if you look over here on the billing details, if you scroll down, and then the labels here, you can see the labels. You can also change this name, first name, last name. You can change it to whatever you want, but I will leave them on default as well. And then the next thing we need to do right now is go to design and start customizing all of this. So I'm going to click on the heading, and then I'm going to make the heading a little bit uh, bold. And then maybe if you make it all cap like that, then you can change the color to whatever you want. So for the labels, I will leave them just the way they are. I just like the color the way they are. I will leave them like that, uh, just so I don't make this tutorial so long. You get the idea. And then I'm going to click on this right here to close this, so we can see the uh, next one we need to customize. And then the next thing we need to customize now is the the order right here. And here you can change it to whatever you want. So this is going to be your order, and then you can basically say like. Uh, whatever you want to say here all right so you can see now that i just changed this to like your amazing order and then i'm going to go here uh, to the title and then i'm going to make it bold but before i change the colors let's go over here to the ones that i created earlier you can see that we have this black background here obviously you don't need to have this black background but i just uh, uh decided to add it uh, so i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this one so to do that, I'm going to select this column right here, and then I'm going to change the second column. Uh, I'm going to give that black background, but I don't really want this black to be uh, this dark. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change this to something else, maybe something like this, a little bit, like that. Okay, I'm going to click on OK. And then now what I want to do is I want to give uh, some space here. So I'm going to select the module, not the, I'm going to select this module inside here. I'm going to select this one first, and then I'm going to go to design, go to spacing, and then I want to add 25 here, like that. And then I also want to add 25 on the top and also at the bottom like that. And then I want to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to add uh, spacing. I'm going to go over here and I'll add 25 like that. And then I will also add at the bottom and on the top 
25 like that so this is what we have so this is looking really good so now that we have that you can see that these colors are not looking good on this background also i'm going to change this color back to white and then i will also do the same thing to this one i will change the title back to white and then the border color that we had here we can also change that to white as well and then the product titles we can actually leave them like that if we want uh table headings like this ones we can uh, leave them like that but i'm going to fade out the white a little bit like that as you can still read them and then if you scroll down here we can select the table body like that and we can change the color to white as well and then i'm going to fade out uh, the colors even more like this and now if you scroll down to payments which is this section right here you can see what we have if we click on the payment and the payment background right now it's like this so we can really change that to anything that we want like this uh, that's not a really nice color so we can change that to black like this and then maybe we can fade out the black a little bit but it's going to stand out from the other background and now you can see what that looks like like that you can still leave the text and everything like that it's still readable you can read that and then we have the button right here so let me scroll down here and go to the place order so place your order button like that we want to use the custom style and now we want to make that button uh, like our other buttons if you go over here you can see that we have it on this color you don't really need to have that color as well but for now i'm going to leave this one on uh, the same color like that i'm going to change the background to this and then i will change the text to white i also want to remove this border color right here so i'm going to go to the hover color i'll leave it the same and then i'll scroll down here to line color i'll put this on transparent and then i'll go over here on hover so when you hover over the button it's going to show uh, the white color so like this so right now you can see that the button is just right on the corner or you can just scroll down and move it to the right here or you can move it to the side so there's really no option to make this full width and i like this button to be full width so if you like it like this this is definitely fine so you don't really have to do anything so this is fine as well you can see over here that i have the button on full width so the only way to do that is just by adding padding so for example if i add 100 here and then link that like this you can see now that i have a full width button but the problem with that is if i go to the uh, tablet like this it's going to look like this and this other button is not going to be in the middle and if i go to mobile as well then it's going to look like this so you have to start adjusting this for a tablet and mobile phone which is going to be harder to do so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to uh, remove this like this but instead of adding all this part in here i'm going to quickly go to the advanced i'm going to go to custom css and then i'm going to scroll down all the way to place order this button right here this is the button that we're trying to uh configure and then all you really have to do is to add this uh, little css here so i'll leave this uh, code in the description box below so that you can just copy and paste it in here to make this full width but if you don't want to make it full width you don't really have to do anything now if we go back to the tablet view you can see that the button will just adjust to the screen that we're using to view it if i go to the mobile view you can see that it will just adjust to the screen and look really nice instead of trying to play around with padding uh, to make it fit every screen so i think this is the best way to go okay so i'm going to click on this and save our changes now i think we are pretty much done i'm going to save our changes right here and then i'm going to close this and click save all changes here as well now let's go back here and refresh this page and see what that looks like this is how you can customize your checkout page uh, using a simple plugin the DV shop builder for woocommerce okay guys that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when i upload a video thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you on the next video